show you guys. So I'm doing Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Gemini Libra Aquarius, 3, 7, 11. Maybe you see 311 a lot, or 711, or 117, or 113, or you might see 1137 a lot during the daytime. If you do, look up the angel numbers and see what you get out of the meeting. And you gotta scroll and go through a lot of things, okay? A very, very bunch. And I got a little tiny cord, and that's why I had to bend over to look at y'all, because my cord just went bad. It's shitty. I can't. My 10 foot cord, I gotta get another one. Okay, you guys, but somebody. You could be getting ready to partner up with somebody who shares the same dreams as you do. It says continue moving forward. Whoever's listening, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully, I can give you a little bit of something today. It says, I see a true color shining through my city lumber. I appreciate you all. Uh, so somebody says your true color shine through this partner that wants to partner up with you. They share the same dreams and goals as you. Ooh. Oh, oh God. You're starting to see your harvest of blessings from seed, seed sown in the past. Your corn's growing, baby. Your corn's growing now. Hang on, blow it up. I was in our dust today. I can't breathe. I cleaned the wall at my bathroom. I can't breathe, baby. So sorry. I bought some Claritin D and I forgot to take it. Uh, and my husband just told me to take it a few minutes ago. But listen, listen. Here it is. Listen. Ain't that ain't pretty old angel wings? I think so. Uh, it's and I draw it. It said we all have a guide deep inside of all of us. Your guides are trying to show you that you need to trust the guidance deep within and listen to those whispers of self. Somebody out here better be listening to this story. It might help you. Now, this is the things it pulled out. It said, you may never have went to school, but you are one of the smartest people on earth. Like, you might have not got nothing but a high school education. You're smart. Oh, excuse me. And yeah, somebody's admiring you for your writing at the moment. They see you as a person of high standing and of quality. And a somebody that keeps snooping around trying to figure you out. Because you're a mystery, these people. And maybe you made a handshake deal with them. But handshake deals never work like they used to back in the old days. And the bottom last one is getting a house ready for you as we speak. He is not letting you get out of his sight now. That's what it said. And these people are trying to have you maybe kicked out. And it said, and up here it says, I do what I say and I say what the hell I mean. I'm the truest you've ever seen. That's what I said. Do you like it? Let's see. <laughs> it says, this scrub thinks that they can get you down and out, but you don't fall for no dummies. <laughs> the universe knows that you're a teacher. You're meant to show others the way to clean up their lives. Okay? And it says, it says, can you do the healing and show me things like I've shown you? That's what somebody's saying in here. Can you do the healing and then show me things like I've shown you? That's what somebody's saying. <laughs> Maybe you're all asking the vinyl asking to show you all if he's here. Because it looks like you are. Because look, it looks like you're moving forward and, you know, you're, you're uh, spiritually enlightened. See that rainbow right there? Your true colors is shining and your, your cords grow. You you listen to your whispers. You let it tell you what to do. You know what I mean? And healing, nobody knows how to heal you all. You just got to let yourself heal. You know, it's going to hurt, but everything hurts in life. Have you noticed that? Uh, there's always going to be, when you get through with one challenge or one morning, like morning somebody really bad, it'll always be something else coming up. And you'll have to start the process over again. You just got to learn to calm yourself and try to not lean on drugs or somebody else to fix you. You know what I mean? Uh, but listen, uh, it said, sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but I did because that's what it said on the line of leaves. It says, listen, listen to what them, yourself's telling you. Hang on. And then this come out. It said, 
is that somebody's grandpa might have been involved in some devilish acts towards you. And uh, it says she was on the outside looking in on the life she knew nothing about. So maybe it's grandpa and his his old lady was snooping in on you, spying. Now look, see that nosy look? It might be down. And it said, and that doesn't have to be your grandpa. That's just a grandfather and like a grandmother Snoopy. You know, you know what I mean? And it said, uh, this... These people wants to jump you out in town, and, or this person does. They're mad because you spoke on all the shit that they've done, and, and, and you've been talking about it. They're mad. They're going to jump you out in town now, buddies. Did you hear that? Oh, it might be these buddies, like I just said. And, uh, oh, and up here was like Grandpa. It said, uh, somebody would stand back and watch you doing your work. And when you bent over their eyes, almost I popped out their damn head. See, see how my re <laughs> readers are connected? Look, look, their eyeballs is popping out. Go pop, pop, poop, poop. <laughs> They're popped out real big now, ain't they? They're nosy. They're nosy Perez, like at court. I mean, yeah, I made that up. Nosy Perez's, that's what they are. Okay, and it says underneath this, it said that she looked at all this life and she and he didn't know up jack shit up and about it. It said, you deserve love and to be happy. And yes, some people is going to try to steal your joy and light, but you're meant to walk away from people that are against you. Y'all know this, right? Okay. So if people's against you, well, don't let them fucking get to you and don't get around them. And uh, <laughs> somebody's business partner might have been, uh, stealing money or something uh, and you might have sensed them doing this and they might have been taking some of your money that was supposed to be yours because they want it to be this they want it to be the great puppet master and they said you better do and act the way that I tell you to do or you're going to receive the consequences so somebody was you was the little puppet, and your narcissist let you puppeteer you around. That's all it means. Until you get really fucking pissed off, and you say, fuck you, narcissist, and you tease them. <laughs> and they don't get to do it anymore because you walked away from it. And uh, 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 a narcissist pulled out right here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and right here it said, underneath that, it said, if people don't like you for your beliefs, well, if you CK them, it's their loss. So don't worry about it. It's puppet master. I don't give a shit. You like me for my beliefs. I don't like y'all for your beliefs. You know what I mean? Uh, but when somebody loves you, they stick by you. They don't run when shit gets tough. It's a fresh and steamy pile. They stick right with you, baby. <laughs> it said you go and lie into a certain situation, you know, and how you played a part in it, even if you played a part at all. You know what I mean? You got lightened about. Oh, you got lightened that. You're somebody who's loyal. You stick by your, you know, if you're like me, I stick by my old man and ain't no other old man around that's not my old man going to tell me how to do things. No, fuck that arsonist. And that's what this story up here is saying. You get it? Oh, and these people put trackers on your vehicles and maybe on your telephones. And you noticed when you go to town that the law followed you around? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I noticed, I noticed. And, and that's why I wrote that down. Did you get it? Ha, ha, ha. All right, now what this said right here, it said, the dragon, it says, be lighthearted at the moment. Uh, find, you're finding out something at the moment. You might be just snooping around in a telephone or something. You're going to find out a secret. Things is coming to light. Oh, yeah, you're, you're adapting. You're, you're changing it to a damn dragonfly, and you're healing. See? <laughs> None of us know how to heal. We just got to do it and light things off. Oh, heart with a key. You're welcoming love with one another. Ooh, meeting the one. Open your heart. Y'all get together. You're perfect. <laughs> You're perfect for each other. You're like a... Like a moth to a flame. Moth to a flame. Yeah, I hear a call of my name. Call of my name. Yeah, say yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. That's why I wrote church. I like it so. Uh, me and my wife listens to it. Oh, it says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness. You're all enjoying each other. That's what it is. I need to take that car. To... Hang on, you guys. I'm gonna go take that car to appeal. I'll be back in about 50 seconds. <laughs>
excuse me, you guys. I found my cloth and now I won't be so stubby, you guys. Because I was in there, I had I had to clean my walls probably about a year and a half. Probably like actually wiped wiped them down. I dusted them, but I had wiped. That stuff gets uh gets to you, housekeeping. You know it, don't you guys? You know, don't you girls get light? Cause y'all know. Alright, so you all get ready to enjoy each other and play and feel so lovey dovey delicious. Uh but somebody needs to get rid of another they need to get rid of a narcissist relationship out here, this self absorbed narcissist one sided relationship of love bombing. Yep, you know. You don't have to be a narcissist to do things like this. You can just have those tendencies, you know what I'm saying? But it's hard to change uh, people's perspectives, but yeah, it can. If it, if that person did used to do narcissist shit and they've had to endure a lot and they placed themselves and seen the stupid shit they was doing, you can change. You can, but uh, it's hard. But yeah, you can, but it's hard. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I just killed a fly. They're sending their magics again. They're sending their magics again. That's all I said. I'll find us something else like I'll find us something else. Did y'all want me to do a turtle weeding or something? Let's see. You want to leave what quad is? Listen to yourself. Yourself will tell you what to do before anybody else. You know what? Pay attention. Uh, scum thinks they can get you down and out, but you don't fall for their scum, Mary. Now, remember, handshake deals don't work like they used to. And you might have went to school, but you're one of the smartest people that some of these people see now, buddies. That's what it said. Whoever you are listening, that's what it said. Let me get some of these little circle cards. I like them. Up. So somebody wants to beat you out now. Remember, they, their, their energy might pull out again. What's this person? Is this going to be a good person? Tell us. You know, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do Oh, wow. I believe we just pulled out this energy. How'd it pull out? How'd it pull out still, you guys? I just simple them. Did you see this yet? Oh, wow. What is it? I'm going to read it how it's laying, okay? Let me do a thought right here. Let me get one more. Yeah, one more. Talk with you guys. So here's what God it said. Ooh, this is about generosity, donations, volunteering. Maybe you've been volunteering your time and uh, you've been generously doing this, and someone's getting ready to gift you some donations. Oh, wow. And they see that in your connection, you all have grown and that you're all devoted, and they're in all of you, and maybe your partner. and. They know that your heart is beloved. You're devoted to your person. I love you, Spirit. I am. I'm devoted to all in. I just sat in our lady coo while ago when I was thinking with him. I love him. And uh, uh, my husband's six years older than me. And back in 19, I don't know, he's six years older than me. And him, my brother, was always the best friend. My older brother had died. And uh, he moved away in 1993. And he moved back in 1999 and I was 18 and he was like 24 he just turned 24 
and I see down and in our town that we grew up because he'd come back, he had moved back. He said, I bet you don't remember who I am, do you? I said, I bet I remember exactly who you are, Bobo. Ooh. <laughs> and we went riding around, we burnt one, and this big old, big old boy, he, he was a big, uh, he always had a crush on me, and I was like, uh, don't, don't you sit up here. I don't want you sit up here. I said, you can sit up here with me, Bobo. And anyway, it was fun. We flirted a lot. But I remember when he used to ride his bicycle by when he was 16. I was like 12. I mean, like 10. I had such a crush. I was like, peace it, Bobo, go by. And then when he moved away, because uh, he lived next to my aunt. And I, I used to love him going by on his bicycle, but I swore with it's like was magnetic. And I told his mom when he moved away and I was 17, I said, I, I went and visited her because she lived beside my aunt. And I said, I, I said, I love Bobo. I want to marry that, I want to marry that boy. And she said, well, you never know what'll happen. And then boom, boom, we got like, we got together when I was 18. And we've been together ever since. And we're swans and we wait for life. And we lo did a lot of did dumb shit to each other, both of us. But we're in awe of each other at the moment. All the shit we had to endure and live through, yeah. Uh, you're visiting, you're throwing a power at the moment. Ooh, you are at your fortress at the moment. And you, you, you're understanding the circuit of meeting within chaos. You, you've lived through it. Uh, and, and you, uh, you had to uh, reveal what what had been suppressed within you, and uh, because you used to be like, you know, because you're somebody who's very abundant, generous, and supportive, and reliable, but you used to be the peacemaker and uphold uh, uphold things that you shouldn't have, maybe, you know, and, and that's 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 what it was, and. Now you're unique and shining. You're, you, oh God, you're just irreplaceable. You're like a damn diamond. You're a gem diamond. You've got an inner treasure within you. You're glowing and very creative and nurturing at the moment, mother. Oh, wow. Because you are a great mother feminine source. You're shining. Your lover is, uh, uh, they're, they're wanting to offer you some, your lovers want to offer you some, a castle that said, oh God, they want to tie you up with the old baby and further play some with you, oh God, you, cause you, you know how to help unmask them and they love you for this, that you taught, that you, you taught them to unmask their own narcissist qualities and get out of that shit, oh, and they love you for it. They say that you're just supportive and reliable and they want to eat you up and give you a damn diamond, it said. Now, that's what it said. <laughs> that's what it said. Go ahead and hit a little like, subscribe to you guys. I hope you like that little story. Oh, God. And what's another stunt to tell you guys? Oh, let me give you a little baby. Look, let's give you a little baby message. Let, let me... They're upside down in every which way, but it don't matter to you all. They're just little bitty parts. I'll flip it over, okay? It'll be okay. Don't get mad now. Hey, wait, I just get mad about shit like that, all right? Okay. Spirit, spirit, tell us a message, please. Spirit's gonna tell us what? What's this journal you book for us these nowadays? What is it? A little message for uh, the collective. They need to know that <coughs> this pulled out first that your marriage, someone might be coming to talk to you, a court person. It's a lady court person now. They're coming to talk to you and your uh, your old man. Are you listening? Hang on, about what? What's he, what's he want to tell? Oh, it's a, oh, a court person, uh, is going to be talking to this young lady and young gentleman now. Are you listening? Oh, they might have went and got married at the court. Are you listening? Uh-huh. Maybe if you got a kid, they went and got married, you don't know about it. What the heck? They better not have. Y'all better not do that around us and not tell us you're going to get hit. That's crazy. 2020, you better not do that. Oh, what it said. Oh, somebody's going to be sick now. What are they going to be sick for? A little, maybe somebody's got the damn COVID and they feel like pukes or something. A short illness coming to this main person karmic right here. It's a main karmic female. 
Oh, and a little baby. Oh, this karmic is up in her heads over this little kid. This karmic woman's up in her thoughts over this little kid. I don't know why. What, what, are, what, what else I'm with this story? Let's finish it out. What's underneath marriage? What underneath court person? Thank you for that spirit. I love you. What on our court person? Court person's gone to the living room about this woman and gentleman's child. That goes on her both. See how that lays like that? Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, what on her short illness? Oh, a change. And what on her main person? What on her main female? What about main karmic? I got the rest of the three cards. Hang out. Hang on. Oh, uh. Okay, so what it's saying is this marriage uh, is great happiness. It makes you feel fulfilled. You love your marriage. You tend to your marriage. You nurture your marriage. You care for your marriage. Y'all just love each other, baby. And there's a court person that's going to be coming to this living room of whoever this young woman and young lady and young gentleman or, you know, somebody like in her 20s. They got a little child together. Over here it says, uh, somebody is going to be sick with this change, with this karmic female. Maybe this karmic female is this young lady over here. Yeah, because that's why a little child pulled out again. This karmic's doing some, uh, whoever this woman is, this lady, this karmic, she's doing something with her child. Uh, and, well, I don't know if they did or not because it, flowers come out and somebody wants to make peace and harmony with the elder connection. Maybe that, this, this young lady, if you got a son, she was keeping your grandchild away from you. And now she knows that she was feeling sick because she was the karmic trying to keep that little baby away from you. And maybe she didn't like your career that you was doing because bar come out, that's what career means. You know, uh, and she knows that you're strong in your career and she's been up, she can't stop thinking about how it's making her her depressed that you're getting ready to receive unexpected income. Well, I don't know why. Look, yeah, and ships, ships coming in, and she she uh she knows that you're gonna be exploring and taking trips and being on the move. You might be going a distance, you and your partner. Well, hell, that took years to do that to go travel. Yeah, whenever he retires, that's what we're gonna do. You damn fuck right we are. Down hell right we are. Down hell right we are. Any other message? Any other? Shoot it out. Oh, what it said is, hang on. This court person is in grief over this young lady and this gentleman and this child. Uh, it's really made him feel a certain way. You know what I mean? Look at this peacock. I never noticed this. Have you noticed that now? That peacock picture, or it looks like it's looking out the side of the window, and there's some little goblin, like an elf, talking in the ear of the court person. Do you see that? And it's some little, like, weird monkey looking at the people. Do you see this shit, man? So that's some weird, uh, I don't get that what that meaning of them peacock is a very flamboyant court person i guess uh and if you ever noticed i never noticed this you all until right now this woman right here she's got angel wings this man's in grief and adversity because he might have been banging and banging around with this woman while he had an earth angel okay do you get it this this other lady might have been screwing around on her person, you know. But I believe what this said is this young lady and this boy, 
and they had a child together and they got married behind your back. I, I told you that from the get go. But somebody's lied to you about them being married. And uh, over here under short illness, there's a change coming to someone's health out here. It might be their mind, their mind or body. It's karmic. Uh, she wants to pour out her emotions, hope, big water. She wants to uh, mend something with you. She wants to let you see this little child because she knows that you're standing up for yourself and this is your job and you're meant to do it. And, and she knew that you had went through a hardship. See this card right here? The first thing it says is hardship. She knew you'd been through a hardship and arguments and conflict and suffering with your partner. Now she sees. Now she sees. And she's up in her heads over your money. Over unexpected money coming to you because if somebody passes away, she's going to be uh, it like it's going to bother her if you receive money from somebody's death. Why? Why does that bother? Ain't that stupid? Some people try to fuck. Maybe that's why she has to go to court, she and he, because they try to steal money like off someone's death. And uh, they receive money, although it didn't let you know. Are you listening? I think it just means she's fucking jealous of your wealth and whatever money you do get, she's jealous over it. You know, and whoever that was sick, they might be dying soon. That's what I think it meant. But then this tower just came out and this is about, hang on a minute, about your standards, about you having standards and you got enlightenment this is about objection, structure, perfection. Could be separating. Well, yeah, if somebody's a class away, you would be separated and you couldn't help that, you know? That might have come to light about somebody's passing. You're going to receive a letter, a message, a correspondence about this long way that you've come in your life and and somebody knows that you had a, this is about your spirituality you bearing the weight of the world on your shoulders it's about your divinity you know and or, or religious you know you say a lot of prayers yeah you was worried a lot this is about you got a beautiful light inside of you inside of you this is about yin and yang spirituality okay all right you guys and i love you and i hope this helps and i'm gonna get off here because it's already too late and i hope this helps y'all tonight and uh, if y'all don't care would you go ahead and please hit a little uh like even if it didn't be all that great i need you guys help soon i love you and i thank you and i'm gonna give y'all some cards away i gotta get 500 i love you guys i hope you have a wonderful night and just enjoy the time you've got with with whoever you do have and appreciate each appreciate everything you do got thank okay, you guys and i love you and let me pick one of these cards and see what it says oh well look at this somebody might have been throwing some graveyard witch dirt on you i don't know why it pulled out like that let me get another one see if it changes nope they think you're a mystery and and they don't know how you escape your traps Oh, and uh, maybe you're a two-spirit person and they have both a male and female spirit within their cells and you're blessed by your creator to see life through the eyes of both genders. They are not evil or perverse pe beings. They just all, just all things in balance and everything in divine order. That's what you are. And two-spirit people is something that Indians believe. You can look it up and know what I'm talking about. But there was some man that was offering you up on a platter to your ops. Did you see that? They they got graveyard dirt spells and did on you. It's a snake. And they're trying to move in close to you. Plot twist. Story's changing. Plot twist. It could be a Gemini. You know, and I'm doing a reading for Or they could be doing something to you, Gemini. Uh, somebody, and you're somebody that's logical, clever, and skillful. You love being on pursuits and learning new things. You're very curious.
As a shapeshifter around you, their personality changes when they're wanting someone or something. That's why something's gonna happen at Halloween, maybe. Okay, Jim and I. But they didn't know that they couldn't, they couldn't harm a chosen one. You know, we're highly protected. And maybe you're a free bird, Jim. You know, people might be afraid of us ones who know ourselves. We got our own aura that all are drawn to magnetically. We rebuild the status quo so that others will be responsible and stand in their truths as we do. We're free birds. That's what we do. And a some person that needs to learn how to give to you and stop taking all the time. They need to water a little love and give you a little love. Somebody needs to give you a little love, okay? But they're pissed off. This graveyard witch is pissed off. Because she sees that your blessings is coming through. Yeah, she sees it. And, and she knows that you know how to heal yourselves with your smart mind and body. And you're like, you got to poke your head out if you want to get the lead out. You, you're the only person that can poke your head out and do something for yourself. I mean, I mean hell, let's get, let's get with it. And when you see Chiron in your birth chart, just know that karma is being delivered by the wounded healer, Comet Chiron. K.O. Total knockout, baby. Total knockout, baby. And reptilians, these militant, relentless predators, cruel bullies, they view everything as competition. So it's court person might be a military person also that don't like you. And they do graveyard spells on you. You just gotta take the story as it is, you know what I mean? But that's what I got you guys. I'm gonna we'll sit these parts down here and get some more and set them up here. We'll move these down here and put some more up here. As a rival woman, as a rival woman, now I told you it is a movie. Alright, now here's all the new ones, in case you guys. Alright, I want to turn my camera off. I just wanted to get them out here so I can use them tomorrow. Alright, pieces 3311. Master numbers, peace. Have a good night.